<laughs> what else, Bosco? Mm-hmm. He said he got full cars, full too. Hello, hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, guys, we're in a different setting. We're in the living room. We're sitting on our couch. Um, as you can see, I have Zach here with me. Hola. <laughs> and um, we are going to play a very quick game. Um, yeah, and I'll explain more about it. But um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into the video. Kind of like the truth and drink game that I got the last time. Um, See, I told you, you got a few cars to pull. Can you please get all that out? Because I need to film. Can you please be done? If you're wondering what's happening, Chris. We haven't connected in a while. Go! I'm trying to tell him, Bosco. He just ain't listening. He just keeps yelling at you. You real Shut sad. up! Stop doing that on the camera. He was so quiet before we started filming. Didn't peep. Trash. It's all right. I'm here for you. Anyway. All right. So this is called the Skin Deep. Um, and this is basically decks that are supposed to like deepen relationships. And there are decks that are... There's, they, they have so many different decks for different things. Like if you're in like a committed relationship, there's like a family edition, there's a friends edition, there's a healing edition. So there's all these different decks. And What's so the healing, for? healing, I will go over that. Good question. So Zach had no idea what we were doing. I bought these and I thought it would be a cool thing to do with my roommate. And so I told him that I needed some of his time to film. So he has no idea what these decks are even about or what it's going to be. Um, but we're going to jump right into it. So basically, this is how the game goes. You're supposed to sit facing one another with a foot of distance between you two. You're supposed to choose 12 random cards from the deck. Take 30 seconds to relax and look at one another. I'll get my meditative state. They're stressing person, me out. Person one begins by asking person two, answers their question, continue back and forth through all questions. So every question must be answered, but you do not have to answer the question to earn the right to remain silent. You must look at the person in their eyes for 10 seconds before saying pass. 10 seconds. So cool. if you don't want to answer a question, you have to look in my eyes for 10 seconds and then say pass. That's intense. I'm like, well, it's about to get deep. So the reason why I chose to do this is because I um, really have been kind of on this journey to... Um, just really work on my relationships that I have with other people and just really make sure that I am creating like stronger bonds. Um, and so because that you want to do, <laughs> uh, do six from this one, six from this one. Um, so you, six, three for you. Yeah. Three for me. Yeah. But like shuffle them a little bit more. You know, I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we need it. As you can see, we need it. What are your first thoughts now that you know what we're really doing? It's hard. The cards are stiff. Let me speak up, Zach. What are you saying? I said the cards are stiff. Okay, but what, uh, well, they're brand new, honey. That's why. So. They're not the only thing I can brand new in this house. You just want to start. That's what it is. <laughs> you really want to start. Zach don't want to do this. He wants to just start. That's what it is. We're, we have to be serious about this. This is a serious thing. I know. You gotta correct the jokes now. Okay, you gotta get it all out. You have to get a lot out your system, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I won't do it as much in Vegas. Do you want to tell everybody what's happening in a few days? Yeah, we're going to Vegas for my birthday. Woo -woo. Yes, guys. We're traveling to the city that never sleeps. And uh, we're excited, right? It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I wanted to sit down and film this video as my video before we go to Vegas because, um, again, as I've said for I don't know how many times, I am not filming a video for Zach's birthday in Vegas because he has asked me not to. Um, and so instead, you have to follow us on our social medias on Instagram, which will be linked below. 
so that way you can see bits and pieces of the trip. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to allow you to pick whatever card from whichever deck and however you want to. When do I embarrass you? I don't think you. Mm, I guess we didn't talk about it. I'm gonna share everything. <laughs> I don't think you've ever embarrassed me. I don't think you've ever embarrassed me. I don't think, not that I can think of. We crack jokes on each other, so I'm not easily embarrassed by you. You've never done know. anything. I don't think you've ever done anything intentionally to embarrass me, so I don't, yeah. What do you remember about the last time we handled conflict between us? Oh, that was Night of Tacos. Night of Tacos? Right. Remember? I was tired that day. Yeah. Okay, you were tired. You came in high energy cracking jokes. I wasn't having it. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that was the last time. So, <laughs> short story was Zach had a long day and I came in ready to kind of be playful and crack jokes with him. Um, and I, you know, not thinking, said some things that he rubbed him the wrong way. And so, um, he got really quiet. Which, if I wasn't tired, it wasn't of, you know? Yeah. No, of course. We fixed it. It was literally... Yeah. We fixed it, like, the next day. So there's... You not know, even, it was that night. Yeah, it was that night. Yeah, because we sat and had a long conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do this a lot. We actually do this a lot. Be but <laughs> we do it a lot and so this is not anything new for us this is just something that i thought would be structured and be cool to do something different on my channel right um so yeah next how do you know when i'm truly present with you i know when zach is truly present when he is not on his phone um when you are engaged in a conversation and you uphold the conversation um that is how I know that I have like your full attention. Bosco, how do you know you have my full attention, sweetie? He's been begging for it. <laughs> you shady as fuck. That's really what it is. Come here, honey. Mm -mm. Come on. You want to be a part of the video? I, I really think it is because he likes to make appearances in the video. This is Bosco, guys. Me, my straight roommate, and my cat. This is what it is. Okay. Is it my turn? Yeah. If you had three years left to live, what would you do differently? Hmm. I'd probably spend one year just working my ass off. And then the last two just spending with loved ones doing a bunch of activities traveling mm -hmm. doing a lot of stuff just get off the bucket list giving yeah okay nice i feel it tell me three moments that changed your life um, three moments that changed my life um the first moment was probably when my grandmother passed away uh my <laughs> my home my um freshman year of high school the second one was probably when my mom passed away which was senior year in high school and then i think another important moment in my life is when i um decided to become a drag queen when i took on that when do you feel i fail to communicate with you and what effects does that have on us fail to communicate yeah mm. I think at times you can send mixed messages because you'll say one thing and then like the next sentence you'll kind of say the opposite. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example? Sunday night. You'd like say one thing, oh. then about 10 seconds later you say the opposite. So then it's yeah. like, oh, what do you really want? Yeah. I get it. I think it is hard for me when I get into those like emotional moments to like really communicate with you. Um, and I'm always thinking like, I want to say this, but I don't want it to come off like this. So I feel like I have to like 
jump back and forth sometimes to, to play the fence, in a sense? Mm, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna let her sit at me. Oh. I can handle it. Mm -hmm. I ain't no pussy. <laughs> what do you think is the hardest thing for me that I don't realize? I think that you have gotten so comfortable living this life that you have. Um, I think when it comes to you and how you handle like emotions or your emotions for that sense, I think that you really use what you learned as a child and like being back home. And I think in your adult life, you sh struggle with wanting to change that not necessarily that it's a bad thing but i sometimes think it does hinder you with certain things and i mean that like for us with me wanting to be more real and open with you sometimes when i am just the emotional one i think that is why it makes me feel crazy on the inside because you are a very chill individual just all around like you really don't get angry and if you do, it's a very subtle movement. Like, you know, I explode. I'm very like loud and all that kind of stuff. And because you don't do that, I'm sometimes I'm like, does he have emotions? Like, and I've seen them. And you, you know, we've had moments like that, but I think when it comes to smaller things, like even me arguing with you, and it's really not arguing, me picking something, or you know, when I'm in that moment, you are really good to and staying calm. Like, you're one of the most calmest people I've seen in those moments. But it also, I'm just kind of like, well, fuck, like, does he even care? So, sometimes I think it comes off like you don't care. So I think that is something. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking over there. <laughs> <laughs> what if that happens? It was, oh, I know this stuff. But when was the last time you cried? Today. Okay. I figured. Well, you told me. That's why. You okay. told me that you thought you were going to... was it yesterday? ...have a moment. No, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Okay. If you had to swap bodies with anyone, who would it be and why? Zap. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, guys. I don't know. If I could swap bodies with anybody... Oh, Jesus. What I want. There's just so many people out there. And first of all, yes... You know, the real answer is Megan Thee Stallion because of that wet-ass pussy. Actually, she is up there with the women's bodies that I would want. It's either like Kim, Kardashian, Beyonce, like Nikki, or Meg Thee Stallion. Any one of those ladies' bodies, I would take, honestly. <laughs> honestly. What do you think I have yet to achieve and why? The, you know, emotional balance. But that's something you're working on. That's something we've talked about before, so. Yeah, I like it. I'm just so emotional, guys. That's really what it is. No, it's fine to be emotional. It's just... Yeah. I have to find the balance. I have to find the happy medium. Mm hmm Yeah. My daddy card. What makes you care so much for me? Damn. That's a good ender. That's a good ender. Yeah, for you, yeah. <laughs> um, what makes you care so much for me? We've talked about this. I, being who I am and being non-binary comes with a lot honestly and I think that you have shown so much like love towards me um and just your ability to care your ability to like be my roommate and like it's small things right that I think you honestly don't really think about ever I think you're just kind of like that's Chris I'm in here you know what I mean but like I I care so much because I see you actually it's so funny i want you to be emotional but when you act like you don't care about certain things i love it right like when we're out in public and i wear a dress or whatever and you don't even blink twice you know like or you don't feel weird in certain settings if someone comes up and calls me man like it's little things like that that i'm like i feel comfortable being with you and i feel like i can be myself at any moment you know what i mean and so that is why i'm always like you, you know I ride for you at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. so that is why. It's because you truly have shown that 
whoever I am, however I present, you don't have any problem with that. And you and you show that time and time and time again. So like, I have the utmost respect. You know that. All right, all right. It's like, what's what would be your nickname or something? <laughs> What can I help you with right now? What can I help you with right now? Um, so it's probably still a lengthy process, but how are we coming to terms and peace with my mom's death? I understand it. So that's like the biggest thing I, I guess my greatest struggle right now. Yeah, I understand it. Um, I have, I don't think we've shared this on camera. I'm gonna share it and then we'll wrap the video up. But um, me and Zach do share um, a very similar um, experience in life where we both lost our mothers. And so I think honestly, when I met you almost a year or however long ago, you know, we became friends because we liked to party together. Honestly, that's what it was. Yeah. And then, you know, as we started to talk, get to know each other, and then, you know, the death happened and things like that, I saw you becoming deeper with me and wanting to, like, hear my experience, you know? And so I think, honestly, that is why we became really good friends. I think that's how we started doing YouTube together and even, like, living together, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, and it, it's a journey, and it's a journey for me, and you teach me things all the time, even in that situation. You do teach me a lot of things, so... We love each other! Okay. Alright guys. This is all I ever wanted for him just to be emotional and like show it and like here he goes. Okay. Um, but alright guys, so we're gonna end the video there. We just wanted to keep it cute and simple. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and what Zach? How how do I end my videos? Fuck, I forget. It's been a mile. <laughs> Get on Zach's head for not being in a video in a while. But, um, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.